very shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakadash, the bonus to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, Ruel, and salutation and much love to Akimal. They're pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. This is the brother Ash from Great Millstone, Tampa. Back with another exhortation video, Lord's Will is edifying to the hopeful elect. And, uh, you know, just out here meditating, you know, on the, the, the spirit of the Lord, you know, how it moves, you know, the wisdom. It's, it's like the flowing waters, man. It's, it's actually, it's more flowing than anything. I believe it's in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. I'll put it in the description box after here, Lord's Will. You know, it's more moving than anything. Yeah, that's it. roughly paraphrasing. You know, as our brothers do videos, spirit like the wind. You don't know where it's coming. You don't know where it's going. But hey, it's it's always moving, and that's how the spirit of the Lord has come uh, upon the prophets of the Lord. You know, it's a it's a it's a it's a a thing of action, so to say. You know, so you can't like the Lord said, um, you can't hide the light. So to say, you can't put the candle under a bushel, you know, you got to let the light shine. So, you know, so us being called to this ministry, we have to put in this work. You know, not everybody's a prophet and a teacher, of course, but, you know, us of us that have been called to this, all right, to teach and get, been given the, the, um, the knowledge, wisdom and understanding, all right, the mysteries, we have to go out there and 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 teach you know we can't hold it back we can't hide the talents like the parable of the talents the lord gave it gave one uh one servant ten ta or five talents another servant two so on and so and it was one servant one but he they all had to multiply them talents all right so we gotta you know push this word to the best of our ability according to the measure that was given unto you you know, everybody has different measures of faith, different, and we're given different talents, so to say. But you have to maximize your efficiency, all right? You got to be, um, if you're part of the body, then you have to put in the work, all right? Because every, down to every last uh, member of the body, all right, has a function. And yeah, even if you're a help, well, what are you helping? <laughs> are you helping, you know? Oh, I'm just a help. I'm a help to the prophets. Well, are you actually helping though? What are you doing? All right, because the Lord sees everything. And of course, everybody is not going to be on the same level. We get that. And then, you know, when shit hits the fan and masses start believing, you know, through the miracles that they see, you know, they're, you know, changing their ways. That, that's their works. That's their faith. But, you know, spe specifically speaking to them, you know, the prophets, the servants of the Lord, the ones out there on the highways and byways, you know, they can't be all lackadaisical, you know, you ain't done a video in two weeks, like what, are you even, do you even believe at that point, you know, because like Apostle DeHard recently did a video, if you miss a day, you miss a lot, and there's a lot of prophecies going on right now, all right, the, all right like the scriptures say in Habakkuk chapter 2, the, the vision is for a point in time, at the end it shall speak, and not lie so the, the the visions the prophecies are speaking loud and clear right now all right everywhere you look end time prophecies are taking place in Salakia. even you know bug outs and christians well anti-christians anti-christ uh even they talking about world war three and you know different different end time prophecies but hey, we know, we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yashai, we said it first, and we can give the ultimate breakdown and give you the full understanding. These guys, these people that every, all of a sudden everybody's a prophet, everybody talking about uh, World War Three and the Mark of the Beast, and man, sh it's time for these YouTubers and you know these self-proclaimed prophets because we're not self-proclaimed. All right, the Lord has established us clearly because we've been out there way before anything was happening, beginning with the elder apostles, Great Millstone, you know, and their elders. We've been saying these things. Now, you, you're you not a prophet if you pointed things out as it's happening. That don't make you a prophet. All right, we was out there standing boldly. Look, people thought we was crazy. 
tell them all these things that are currently happening today. We were ridiculed, we were ridiculed mocked, but hey, that's all right. Because Ezekiel 33, 33 says, even Ezekiel 2 and 5, all right, um, when these things come to pass and lo, it will, then shall they know a prophet was among them. All right, and a, and a prophet is supposed to be hated, not a million subscribers on YouTube. You know, you train now. You now you got to change up the platform and, and talk about World War Three. Nah, man, we we was the ones that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yashai through the Holy Spirit. All right, Harakak with Dash. We were the ones talking about World War Three, way before Russia invaded Ukraine, way before this whole shit in the Middle East was going down. All right. We talked way before the, the C-19. We was talking about these things, the lockdowns, the martial law, the race riots, the civil unrest. So we have to, you know, rejoice in these things, all right? Because the Lord is showing us that he's, he's dealing with us, if you can perceive it, all right? Because nobody else had the ins inside scoop, so to say, of these things that are currently happening. But we did, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, was revealed unto us. All right, we was able to understand the dark sayings, the parables of the scriptures. The, you know these, because you know people have been reading the Bible for a long time, but they they couldn't break it down like we could, and and a lot of people can't get it even if we break it down to them. But now all of a sudden, people are experts on, on prophecy. The hell out of here. That's just the Lord making mockery of them. And whoever wants to believe in them, because they still, you know, people talk, you got people talking about Ezekiel 38 and different articles and videos. Man, so they need to sit down and shut up. Like they broke that down, like the Lord came to them and revealed it. Nah, man, we've got, if not thousands, millions of videos breaking them scriptures down. Between all the brothers, all right? It's like they ain't getting no revelations, man. That's old news to us. Yeah, it's prophecy, and it's happening. But it, we bench it, and we don't, we don't, t we don't try to, you know, get glory of about it. Oh, look at how they're going into this and going into this. It was world news was going on in World War Three. We, you know, they want they want attention for it. We just telling you what the Lord said. We're not trying to get credit for it. You know, these are the words of the Lord. But do you think they're talking about the words of the Lord? Oh yeah, World War Three is in the Bible. No, they don't care. They just want some clickbaits. You know, because everybody in the world is seeing what's going on. So now they want to hop on the train, on the prophet's train. Ah, oh, man, you hopped on the wrong. That's the, you, you hopped on the train that's going the opposite way. It was just disguised. You think you, a, you know, a self-proclaimed prophet. It don't work like that. Again, you can't be a prophet if you're pointing things out that's happening. That don't make you a prophet. It just makes you an asshole, all right? Because you, 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 these same people were ridiculing us before. Guaranteed. These same people were talking shit about the true prophets of the Lord. Oh, look at them crazy guys on the corner with bed sheets and capes. Like this stupid ass a Mexican that came up a couple weeks ago. Oh, you guys are Christians because y'all wear capes? Well, if, if, if now he's going to have to give account for every idle word. All right? All these Christians that, that uh, scoffed at us and talked shit. Now what you got to say? Not much. A lot of people's mouths are about to be shut. But look, there's still, people are still hanging on to this society because they don't want to lose their life. Well, guess what? We forsook our lives. See, these same people trying to break this, break the prophecies down now. They don't want to lose their lives. They want to keep prospering in this weak-ass country that's currently falling before our very eyes, divided. They pre you got your president candidate working at McDonald's. What kind of clown world is this? I remember one of the elders said it yesterday. We, went, we America went from having their presidents serve on the front lines, right, George Washington, to a nigga working flipping fries at McDonald's. This is a, a, a big joke. And a woman, uh, uh, you got a nigga flipping fries at McDonald's, and and, and then a woman running for uh, a clown woman running for president. But they, now they want to tell us about prophecy. Get the hell out of here. But hey, again, we got to rejoice in these things because now <laughs> everybody's trying to be like us. And now we're going to be the scoffers. We're going to scoff at y'all. We're going to ask y'all questions about your so-called prophecies, right? 
We gonna we gonna we gonna dig into it. Where you get that from? Who who told you that? What book you get that from? Right? And I was, you know, everybody would want to scrutinize what we were saying about the prophecies. And you know, we got the signs. I remember years ago, you know, the missile sign we got, the the Russian missile that says USSR on it. People used to scoff at that all the time. Oh, USSR doesn't even exist. Blah blah blah. Yeah, nobody got nothing to say about the sign now, though. You wanted to scoff, and now it's our turn to scoff at you, because the Lord's about to mock, like in Proverbs one, the Lord shall mock, mock thee when that uh, when the uh, that calamity cometh upon thee. Roughly paraphrasing. And who do you think he gonna mock you through? He gonna mock you through his prophets, just like uh, the, I believe it was Elijah or Elisha against the prophets of all. He was he was clowning them. Well, now it's our turn to clown you, you you false prophets. Or you pseudo prophets, and you even got pseudo prophets amongst the nation of Israel. Yeah, they're they're, they're not even breaking the scriptures down properly concerning the mark of the beast, Ezekiel thirty eight, all right, so on. Uh, World War three, Gog and Magog, all that. Now it's time for y'all to answer questions. You, these people that are hopping on the train trying to be prophets. Oh, World War three, Ezekiel thirty eight. All right, let, break, let's break it down then. Cause yeah, y'all probably seen our one of our videos, and that's where you got it from. But let's see if you truly understand it. And we're gonna ridicule you people. Talking about this biblical prophecies. You know, on the news they talking about floods of biblical proportion. Now everybody wanna talk about the Bible? I thought we, I thought I thought the Bible was a book of fairy tales. That's what people used to tell us. So now y'all gotta answer. Now y'all got some answering to do. While we going to rejoice at the downfall of this place, you people are trying to point these things out because you're scared. These people are running scared. They see World War Three happening. Their their nation is falling apart. It's, any it, election day is going to be a shit show. Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> but we told you this uh, was the second entrance 15 and 16. Scriptures say that. Uh, how's it go up? Uh, People in vain one another for the lack of bread and great tribulation. All right. Uh, the uh, people will not uh, regard the kings nor nor princes. You know, the, the government's going to uh, a legitimate government will be fighting to take power. And the GNT says it. So hey, this election is going to bring America to its knees. Election day, what, 15 days away, something like that? Yeah, we're getting ready to see a all-out chaos, right? Regardless of who wins, we know it's all bullshit anyway. World War III is ramping up. Russia's out there doing drills in, in the Indian Ocean with Iran and uh, Oman, Oman. They're sending, North Korea sending troops to... To fight in Ukraine. This, this place is finished, man. America's Babylon the Great's finished, and all the other nations that have gotten uh, rich off of her are finished. Everybody going down with Babylon because the Lord's about to return. And that's what they don't get. That's the prophecy they don't see. Oh, the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back? No. Yahweh is coming back with a great host, all right? With great power and glory to destroy the nations destroy the kingdoms of this earth and take the crowns from them all right why don't they break that down huh the missiles that are going to destroy america thus saith the lord all right the weapons of his indignation yeah why don't they break that prophecy down yeah jeremiah 50 jeremiah 51 and yeah. why don't they break those script isaiah 66 15 why don't they break that down? Since it, it, since all, all of a sudden everyone's a, a, a scholar of the scriptures and a prophet. Hmm? Why don't you break, break down the chariots of the Lord? So it, very soon everybody's going to have to sit down and shut up. Because they're going to be shit uh, scared shitless. And the prophets are going to be uh, rejoicing. And have abundance in the time of famine. Because that's how you're going to know who the Lord's dealing with. Cause ain't nobody persecuting these 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 clowns thinking they know something the people have been persecuting us it's gonna get worse but hey the lord's gonna defend us he's gonna lift up a standard and he's gonna 
like he said in Isaiah 65, my servant shall eat. You shall uh, be hungry. My servant shall drink. You shall thirst. My servant shall rejoice and you shall mourn. So the only ones that are going to be rejoicing because they truly understand the prophecies are the, are the elect of Yahweh Baha Hashim, Yahweh Shai. Not no damn average loser on YouTube. All right. Or, um, you know, a, a self-proclaimed Christian, anti, what we call them anti-Christians, anti-Christ. All right. Because the scriptures say there'd be many anti-Christ. So, hey, we're about to see, we're about to, like uh, we've been saying for years, we're going to, we're about to get the biggest, I to we told you so. All right. And the water, how about shimmy outside for revealing these things unto us so we could prepare, you know, through the spirit. Because not like the scriptures say, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times and the fear of the Lord is treasure. These people don't fear the Lord. They don't have the knowledge and wisdom either. They might know some things here and there, but they don't have the true understanding, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Because the Lord said unto you, it is given unto them. It is, it's not. These people are blinded. Just because they're pointing things out don't mean a damn thing. They probably just watched one of our videos. Or if not, again, they're just pointing things out. That don't make you a prophet. So, hey, rejoice because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. So with that, give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Good morning to the elder apostles, great millstone. Salutation to the elect. Shalom.